Hello there biker peeps. Today we're here to talk to you about boots, specifically Daytona boots and this little number here, a Gore-Tex item which is called the Daytona M-Star and that's M for man. And can we talk about the lady star as well? Why not? So on the beach, let's dive into the Daytona boot and have a little look at uh, the history, I think. Oh, you want some history? Yes, yes my favourite. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, I'm going to guess around 1957, because I absolutely did not look this up earlier. It's a German company which was founded in 1957, and guess what they made? Shoes. It was shoes, yes. Okay. Anyway, a few years later, about 1962, they started making motorcycle boots, and here we are, many decades later, and they're doing the same thing. And the big USP when it comes to Daytona is every single boot is handmade. It's not farmed out to some other side of the world. It is all handmade, and that is a big part of the reason why every single Daytona boot you ever get your hands on feels so well built, and also while they last, plus the fact they always use top quality material. So for example, these boots here, we have the leather, and the leather is the absolute best premium cow leather you can buy. And when you actually look at it, it is, it is really gorgeous. And of course, these two boots, despite being male and female, are exactly the same specification, including the heel. So we have a reinforced heel for protection, and in the insole, we've actually got an extra inch, so our foot is a little bit higher, and we like an extra inch, don't we, ladies? So can you just explain why they actually do that? Ah, yes, I can. Um, the reason is, quite simply, reaching the ground. It has that kind of, essentially, little bump up in there, so when you put your feet down, you can get them down easier either side, either side of a motorcycle. Some people sometimes can only get one foot down on one side or the other for whatever reason. Go on. So, okay, so when I did my CBT test, mm -hmm. I kind of struggled to put both feet on the floor. So if I had a pair of these... There you go. It, it would have been, helped. yeah, it would have been, it would have been a lot easier. And that is, that is the reason they're there. It's, I suppose you could call that this particular boot, that's the, that's the USP. And it's quite impressive really, because there is a lot kind of else going on with boots. We've got the gear change pads here, even though there's one on the right hand side as well for some reason. One thing we also have is we have some reflective material here around the stretch accordion, the accordion stretch panel, and there's another one, as you can see there, that's it, on the front there. That's obviously for ease of movement. And then we have what is a slightly unusual in some, but you won't really get this in sportier boots. You have basically a double closure system. I'm going to say closure because for some reason they don't like the word open. And one zip goes a lot further down, all the way to there, and the inside zip doesn't go all the way down, it just goes part of the way, but what that does is it opens it up, look, that's it, like that, opens it up, makes it a lot easier to get your feet in. And you know when you've been riding and your feet are you're hot and your feet are swollen, this kind of thing makes things a lot easier. And you've also got another one, I can see, at the back here. Ta-da! Ta-da! Actually, this is a little bit more than just getting your foot in. This is also calf adjustment. So if you look here, you've got Velcro there, and you have Velcro here as well, and it splits into what are essentially petals, which allows you, to, if you want, to just See how I've made that kind of wider now? So yeah. if you happen to have your kind of ridiculous, very low calves or larger legs or whatever, you can fit it in, Velcro it back up, and it's done what you needed it to do. The whole point is the adjustment is here and it's part of this kind of entire upper system. And going a little bit further down, we have an oil and petrol resistant sole with lots of grip molded in. Um, I do believe that this has a steel shank in it does sole? yeah it has a steel shank in the sole and that basically stops your foot from bending the wrong way should you have a whoopsie mm. now obviously Gemma part of this boot 
is Gore-Tex. And Gore-Tex is a big word when it comes to Daytona. And they are also one of the only people, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise while I re-undo this, where the Gore-Tex comes pretty much all the way up. In fact, in, in this scenario here, we have this, which is a kind of, you know how I bang on about Daytona really good at doing one boot in another boot kind yeah. of thing. Well, it isn't quite that. This is, it's kind of two boots, but you can't take this out. And in here is the Gore-Tex lining. It is actually secured in, but technically it's still the whole two boot in one boot thing. Ah, I see. So. Would this be a general riding boot? So you just ride and then you take it off or can you ride to your destination, get off the bike and have a little mooch around? You can, I mean, um, all of, in here, as well as the extra height, it is, these are built for comfort, both riding and walking around. And we all know Gore-Tex can be reasonably breathable, but this is basically a year long boot. So you can wear this in summer, winter, it doesn't really make any difference. And then, yeah, you don't have to take any trainers with you when you get somewhere. You can just keep wandering about in them because, like I say, these particular boots are not just built to be protective and waterproof. They're also built to be comfortable no matter what you're doing. Pretty stylish as well. Yeah, I guess they are. So the CE Proof boot comes in colours, black, black and... Black. <laughs> and the um, sizes, the females, comes two and a half to six. And in the men's, we have sizes six and a half to 10. There is a two year warranty on these boots, but don't forget this little logo here. And what this means is, because Gore-Tex is basically warrantied for life. So if you get far down the line with these boots and the Gore-Tex somehow fails and it cannot be attributed to your usual wear and tear, you can actually approach Gore-Tex and get them to either fix it or replace it. True story. True. True. And what's also true is where you go to get more information on these boots if you want them, which is... bikeheads.co.uk